the finale of uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi. It's uh, it's over. Uh, <laughs> you know what? I So we're going to do a review. I'm going to do a review over the, over the finale and just kind of give you guys my overall impression about the TV show. Uh, the, at no point whatsoever did this TV show really make the argument of, yes, this, this TV show needed to be here. The, the, to fill in the gaps between Obi-Wan Kenobi and Darth Vader, this television show between Revenge of the Sith and, uh, and New Hope, it needed to happen. It needed to be there. The storytelling is fantastic. It's 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 top notch. It's to it's to the point where I mean it's uh, uh, peaking over Revenge of the Sith, dude. It's it, 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 oh my god. And I'm not trying to nitpick, and I'm not trying to be overly negative, but I honestly just see this television series. It, it's just it's worthless it, it truly is just like, 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 i feel bad like I, look i get it if you like this television show more power to you i'm not trying to tear you down or t- tear down anything that you like i'm just giving you my perspective and, and, and from just thinking critically over this series at no point whatsoever did it need to be made and i'm just i'm disappointed because i was looking forward to this i was looking forward to the obi-wan kenobi series and thinking that it would be more of a you know impactful thing they were even saying it was gonna be like joker or logan when it comes to uh i I guess just character building you know uh shows and it was not like that whatsoever like what a pile of you know what man look i I think the obi-wan kenobi series could have been better i really think it could it could have been so much better than what it turned out to be it could be focusing on obi-wan kenobi focusing on his training he's talking to Qui-Gon Qui-Gon's making Obi-Wan Kenobi think about past mistakes you could get some clo- more clone war error uh you know uh, you know footage and stuff like that seeing uh you know uh, Hayden Christensen is is uh Anakin Skywalker and you could have seen stuff like that you could see you know Anakin Skywalker and Darth Vader and the conflict that's happening with him and, and Obi-Wan Kenobi it could have been such a great thing to see but what it went with just makes absolutely no sense whatsoever and it just turns out to be just such a big disappointment i think there's things about this show about the series that you can like there are things here and there that i like but overall this this tv series series just did not need need to be made and i think the finale just is, is is that show that that nail in the coffin for me of going yeah, this is this is. Uh, if they're making uh, either a Reva series or another Ob- season two of Obi Wan Kenobi, just just end it now, man. So anyway, we're gonna get into it. I'm gonna give you guys my review uh, of the the finale and um, just kind of hopefully uh, stay away from at least keeping this video monetized and whatnot. I won't show too much video, um, but I do have some tweets pulled up, and we'll kind of get into it and just kind of go over the overall um story and 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 how i felt about this tv series or at least the the the, the finale so let me let me just go into say this so the two parts that i liked and i enjoyed actually sorry three the three parts i enjoyed about this uh this show was the obi-wan can you know the obi-wan vader fight that was the ma- the rematch of the century is what they were building it up to be I don't know about you guys, you know, when it comes to like UFCs or boxing, you know, fights like that, that are just like pinnacle fights that everybody is going to tune in to watch. Do you ever watch those fights that break off to something else? Like it breaks off to a commercial, like, it, you know, they're going head to head fighting. And then all of a sudden it breaks to a commercial. And you're like, what the, f- why, why, why is it breaking away the fight? I want to watch the fight. What are you doing? That's exactly how this felt. The fight of the century that they were building this, 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 this fight to be was not whatsoever because the fight would start and it would break away to the next part to the next and the next and the next and the next. It's like, I just want to see him fight. Come on. So overall, I enjoyed the fight. I think it was weak in some parts, but I enjoyed the fight. I enjoy the little emotional aspect to Obi-Wan seeing Anakin, which we'll get into that of how much of a ripoff that was of Rebels and how much that takes away them from Ahsoka's reveal of Anakin for the love of God. I enjoyed a little bit of that, of the emotional stuff, and I enjoyed seeing Qui-Gon at the end. Other than that, <laughs> I was not a huge fan of the finale, but yeah, just the just the stupid thing of them saying it's the rematch of the century. Just what a load of BS. So anyway, let's start off with this. Let's talk about this. So the, 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 the show starts off with Reva, and somehow she's on Tatooine. No idea. You know what? I'm gonna steal. I'm gonna. I'm gonna steal some stuff from Critical uh, Drinker. No idea. 
We have no idea how she got there. Don't know exactly how she survived her second, uh, you know, lightsaber. So she survived her first one as a as a as a, as a battle one. How do uh, how did she survive? No idea. She she survived the second stab wound. <laughs> how did she survive? No idea. Not a clue. We have no we have no idea how she survived. How is she healing? I have no idea. She's stabbed with something that will burn metal. Will will cut through like a solid like what three foot inch door or three foot door to get to the other side of Obi Wan Kenobi. Somehow that just does not melt everything, and she's able to survive it. Now, a lot of people have been pointing out this little this little tweet right here, and it says, "Revenge does wonders." uh for the will to live don't you think now i think this is about the most hysterical thing in here because we really don't get any type of reveal whatsoever when it comes to reva and the reason why she's still alive except for oh you know what the dark side of the force is a pathway to many abilities something to consider to be unnatural for the love of god but it's it's funny to know that people are comparing it to like Maul. Maul survived, he cut in half. But I would say, oh, well, we kind of got a little bit of an explanation. We actually got to see the progression of Maul from him getting chopped in half to, you know, what he turned out to be towards the end of Rebels. Um, but also, too, like, you know, comparing it to other Darths out there with Darth Sion and Darth Nihilus. P people that, you know, overcame death and you got a little bit of storyline on the how they were able to achieve that. And, and what was their downfall and what was happening with this, right, with Reva. No idea. Not an effing clue besides Dark Side of the Force is a pathway to ability ability stuff considered to be unnatural. For the love of God, I, I, I don't... <laughs> the storytelling in this was garbage! Anyway, so, uh, yeah. So anyway, we cut to Re Reva's on Tatooine, bullying people, trying to find Luke. Uh, how does he... How does, uh, what, what's her motivation to, for going to get Luke? How does she know that that's like the son of, Obi of uh, Anakin Skywalker? No idea. We have no idea what the reason is why she's going after Luke, but she's going after Luke. <laughs> don't, I don't know, man. So anyway, it breaks over to uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi, who's in his you know spaceship. They're trying to get away from the Star Destroyer that Darth Vader is on. And uh, about the funniest interactions on this show because uh, on this ship because Obi Wan Kenobi is wanting to try to get away um, from the Death Star and, and, and wanting wanting to cause you know kind of a, a diversion because you know when Obi Wan Kenobi leaves Vader's gonna follow him and not the transport. Um, and and Obi Wan is like wanting to sacrifice himself when it's like my man you 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 had one job you had one job you, the the Organons had their one job with Leia which they completely failed like they just dropped the ball on. That. Leia got kidnapped and they said, Hey Obi-Wan, you want to take care of it? Yeah, we're busy with other stuff. We can't you, we can't focus on the daughter that we, you know, got kidnapped. Can you focus on it? Yeah, we know you have your own responsibility with Luke, but yeah, F that guy. F those kids. <laughs> is, uh, oh my god. So anyway, Obi-Wan's wanting to sacrifice himself and you know go this, that way he gives him some uh gives them a chance to live. Some of the people on the ship are like, no, 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 don't do it. And it's like, just what get get it the hell over with. Um, break to the ship on Darth Vader where you have, uh, the Inquisitor like, hey, you know what, we can go after the Rebels and, uh, you know, not worry about Obi-Wan Kenobi and, uh, you know, it not be a big deal and Vader just pretty much told him to, to pound sand and this look, <laughs> hold on, oh, damn it, hold on, I gotta go back, I gotta go back, the look, <laughs> the look of the Grand Inquisitor says it all about this entire series, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god so yeah man that that's how i feel man that's how i feel about this entire series so yeah anyway so anyway darth vader goes towards obi-wan kenobi and uh then we break to um owen and um and Varun and, and uncle owen and uh who would have known that aunt Varu was like f this stuff i'm going rambo like where did she like get the nuts under her like our portrayal of of Aunt Beru in A New Hope is a sweet, kind young lady. But in this, she's like, bitch, get, I'm getting my gat, and we're gonna be defending this spot. Pow, 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 pow! Like, that, <laughs> that's how she is! And it, to me, I thought it was totally off character. I'm like, where did Aunt Beru come in hot at? And Uncle Owen's like, uh, uh, <laughs> who are you? <laughs> it's just... It felt so like, look, I'm totally, I'm totally up for it. You know what? If you want to defend your property, get it, get at it, defend your son. I enjoy it. But to me, it just felt so out of character for Aunt Varu. But apparently she is a badass before we see her in A New Hope. But oh my God. <laughs> so 
yeah, anyway, Reva is coming to find uh, Uncle Owen and Aunt Veru for, uh, for Luke. Again, we don't know why she is looking for him. We don't know how she finds him, but... She finds them. Anyway, then we cut back over. I mean, let, t- we're telling we're cut, we're cutting back over again and again and again. It's multiple different cuts. We cut back over to the fight with uh, Obi Wan Kenobi and uh, and Darth Vader, and you know they're having this little mashup again. Like I said, th- this is the rematch of the century, and the fight's not that bad. It's dark. You can't see half the damn things. The the music is just awful uh, during this fight. It's not the it doesn't have the epicness that like Revenge of the Sith has, but Again, going into this fight and watching this fight, it is enjoyable to see the fight, but when it com- compares to what they're saying, it being like the fight of the century, and then comparing it back to the pinnacle, the the cherry on the top to the Star Wars you know, franchise, the Star Wars saga with the original and prequel trilogy, what, what George Lucas was able to do with o- Obi-Wan and Vader in that fight, oh my god, it was beautiful. It was a beautiful storytelling of the fight and, and what was going on in the conflict. And, and, and this series... Yeah, rematch of the century, but it does not peak over what George Lucas was able to do uh, in Revenge of the Sith. And again, that's just one of my arguments of why this series needed to be made. It, it, it doesn't. It does not prove to me it didn't need to be made. Because again, Revenge of the Sith told that story and ended it right then and there. And I'm just, I'm not liking this whatsoever, especially for how weak ass this fight was. Uh, yeah, let's talk about this. Obi-Wan Kenobi gets buried up in rocks, uh, by Darth Vader. And Darth Vader just abandons him. He just leaves him for dead. And it's like, I'm Darth. I'm Anakin. I I, I get it, man. I get, you want to bury him alive? Let him suffer? Um, I don't, uh, homie, I don't know if anybody told you, but, uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi can lift that shit up off and and fight you again. I, I know, man. Look, hey, you just got done from stabbing Reva and just leaving her ass to die, which I just, I mean, you killed Count Dooku for less, but <laughs> I'm just, I'm not understanding, man. Like, the way that they portrayed Darth Vader and way he's betrayed in the movies and way he's betrayed in comic books and an extended universe, man, they just, they cut the nuts off of Darth Vader, man. <laughs> just absolutely pitiful. So, yeah, they bury him in rocks. Okay, whatever whatever it's so stupid so anyway um all right so i I don't want to play the audio of this because i don't want um i don't want disney to come down on this uh but anyway actually before this we we break in and out of this fight and then uh with obi or uh with uh luke running away from reva and owen and aunt veru getting their shit pushed in uh at the farm and it's just like (laughs) whatever and the funny thing is is that like I think a lot of people have been arguing, you know, did Luke see Reva's lightsaber? And at a certain point when Reva opens the door and Luke escapes from the, the hatch and everything and is running out in the in the desert, um, I don't know how he could miss the giant beam of red uh, that she was carrying with her. And I, I don't know how he does not see that she has a lightsaber in it. And honestly, just thinking about that, it totally takes away the 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 line from A New Hope where, you know, Luke, you know, is handed the lightsaber from obi-wan and he's like what is this and the funny thing is about that scene in a new hope is that when anik or when luke gets the lightsaber he's he's out of the know just like we are as an audience we are experiencing the story through luke's eyes um and when he's handed this lightsaber we don't even know what it does and he doesn't know what it is so when he turns it on whoa that's so cool luke's impressed we're impressed this is so badass but again, he's being chased down by somebody with a red lightsaber, and I'm gonna tell you right now. We'll get into it here in a second, but I don't know how I don't know how Luke is not traumatized <laughs> from being chased and getting murdered. So anyway, cut back over to uh, uh, Obi Wan and Vader. They're having the, their little fight, and um, Obi Wan wins eventually, and we get this emotional scene. Uh, uh, from Obi-Wan just looking at him going Anakin like just feeling awful and terrible that his friend uh, you know suffered this fate and is living like this Um, but I just want to throw this out there man I mean total ripoff from Rebels I don't know if I have no okay that goes into that total ripoff from Rebels absolutely atrocious that it ripped off the scene from Rebels this entire series the Obi-Wan Kenobi series is a ripoff from Battlefront 2 and Fallen Order and now apparently Rebels with this reveal of Anakin rebels did it a lot better 
in my personal view, when it comes to Ahsoka re getting revealed that it was Anakin. Now, again, Obi-Wan Kenobi, I don't give a damn what this show says. New Vader was still alive well before this, you know, show 10 years later. Well, it was well known that Vader lived and whatnot. Um, he didn't need this type of reveal. This reveal was left for Ahsoka and Rebels. And it's so dumb that it was done yet again and I would say in a much worse version. Now, don't get me wrong. I do enjoy the emotional connection that Ewan McGregor shows as Obi-Wan to seeing Anakin. I think that was very heartbreaking when he just was like, Anakin. But I don't understand why they did this same scene again. I don't know why in the world. I don't know if they're just... When it comes to writing and storytelling, they are just that empty uh, of, of doing new things and d telling stories in a new way and flushing stuff out. But I just don't understand why they're rehashing this stuff over and over again. So anyway, out of the end of the, uh, out of the end of this fight, the emotional connection that Ewan McGregor was able to portray did win me over as like, man, that was actually a really good scene. All right, that's over. Let's break back over to Rava chasing Luke's ass down. And I want to say this real quick. All right. Let me, uh, let me get that out of the way. Uh, okay. So I just, I just want to point this out. All right. So Reva, Luke is running for his life. He is just balls to the walls, running out to the desert to get away from Reva. All right. Okay. Our impression of Luke in a new hope is somebody that, you know, down on their luck. They want to go do things, you know, just carefree. They want to go explore stuff. They can't, they can't leave the farm, but just you know what, very innocent, not really too much kind of going on. When I watch this, th this chase scene, I'm thinking, oh my God, Luke is 10 years old and he is getting chased down by somebody that wants to murder him. And that doesn't change what Luke turns into when a new hope comes around. Like you're telling me that Luke is going to run for his life into the desert, being afraid of somebody trying to kill them kill him and, and he's not going to be affected by this emotionally as a as a character as a person when new hope comes by did anybody think of that whatsoever like this this chase scene him getting running running away from somebody that's trying to kill him that that is going to change his persona that's going to change him as a person as a young child to a young man it is the dumbest thing that i don't think any thought was put into whatsoever but anyway yeah, after, uh, you know, Reva murders, you know, people uh, over and over and over, kills small children, kills people, cuts off limbs here and there. She gets up to Luke, again, not, I, I'm assuming not knowing that's Darth Vader, Anakin Skywalker's son. I, again, if she does know, I don't know how the hell she finds that out. There's no motivation whatsoever on why she's chasing him down. <gasps> Whatever that is. But she gets all of a sudden an epiphany going, hey, um, I might have a change of heart. I'm, I'm becoming somebody that I was I was trying to destroy. I was trying. I was I was so I was so emotionally hurt. I was trying to destroy somebody, and now that I'm destroying his son, that for some reason I don't know how he's. I know he's his son, and I'm just like, you know what? I'm growing unconscious. I can't hurt him. Oh, and it's just it doesn't make sense. Why? I don't understand. I know this was part of the leaks when they came out, you know, months ago, but. The writing in this just makes no sense. Now, this is not a ding at Moses Ingram as an actress. This is a ding at the storytelling and the character building in this. We don't know what her motivation is. We don't know why she's there, how she got there. What What's her motivation on, on changing just besides, you know, saying, oh my God, I killed so many people. And now that I killed a small child, uh, I think I have a conscience now. It just doesn't make sense whatsoever. And it's just really, it irked me so bad. All right, last thing I'll get into is this. Seeing Qui-Gon, seeing the Emperor, yeah, it was cool. I, as, as somebody that is a huge Qui-Gon fan, Liam Neeson, I think he's a great actor. I enjoy his movies he's in. Qui-Gon being my favorite Jedi, I, I enjoy you know Phantom Menace because of Liam Neeson. Um, it was cool seeing him back. But again, like I said, th this entire series could have been, you know, Obi-Wan communicating with Qui-Gon, them having a relationship, and learning from the mistakes in the past and building upon that to where, again, Obi-Wan is defending Luke. And that's great, but learning from the mistakes of the past. And it wasn't like that whatsoever. And we just get this, you know, little cameo of the Emperor and Qui-Gon. Yeah, big deal. 
Uh, so yeah, that's some, that's some of my feelings on the show is. And uh, the last thing I'll talk about is this, and I think it's hysterical. Um, so this is from Lord Robot Head, and it says, I can't wait to watch A New Hope again to see Leia not give <laughs> not give a shit when w- she witnesses Obi-Wan Kenobi get cut down. She acts like she never met him. And it's true. Luke has a breakdown in A New Hope because he lost his mentor. He lost somebody uh, that, you know, a mentor for like a couple of hours, but somebody that was looking over uh, over him and he knew um but uh i mean he breaks down um, in this scene and leia couldn't give two dams could not care less the entire series the obi-wan kenobi series just makes no sense and i'm not a huge fan of it and uh yeah man i'm just i, I hate it i hate what they did i hate what, what's going on with this and I, i'm just disappointed I'm, i really wish this series was something more than what it is right now so Anyway, let me know the thoughts below. What do you guys think about this? What do you think about my review? What do you think about the series and the TV show as a whole? Let me know in the comments below. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Please have a great rest of the day and look forward to talking to you guys all next time.